In today's video, we're gonna give you some incredible value using Lace Wallet through Eternal. Now this comes with a double benefit. I have most of my wallets uploaded through Eternal because it works better in most dApps. It's faster, it's quicker. I think there's another like level of security when you bring like your NAMI wallet into Eternal or bring your Lace Wallet into Eternal or Jira Wallet or Daedalus Wallet. I actually have my Daedalus wallets linked through Eternal so that I can use my Daedalus wallet, which is a full node wallet in dApps and decentralized exchanges where I otherwise couldn't do it fast and with ease of use because Daedalus is a full node wallet. It's a whole different animal, but because you can upload that through Eternal, now you can connect your Eternal to this DEX, to this exchange or whatever and make trades from Eternal that then when you go back and look at your Daedalus, It'll be, the funds will be there. The trades will actually occur in the Daedalus wallet using Eternal because your tokens, okay, your tokens are held on the blockchain and your wallet is your key to those tokens on the blockchain. So Eternal or Lace, they're not storing your seed phrase in its framework, okay? Your, your seed phrase actually links you to your tokens on the main blockchain. Okay, and so we're gonna kind of go through that process. So we already have a, uh, a lace downloaded and we're gonna show you that process. We're gonna go back to the, to the Chrome. We're gonna open up lace, okay? And we're gonna expand. We're gonna expand lace so you can see it full screen. This is our channel wallet, it's our channel account. So this is how much Cardano we have. This is how much Genius Yield we have. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna upload our lace wallet using our private keys and upload it through eternal okay first what we need to do is go to eternal e t e r n l um wallet you know i'm just going to show you the process so eternal e t e r n l dot i o is the website okay so you're going to click into eternal and so what we want to do is we want to add or restore a wallet, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to add a wallet and we want to restore a wallet. And we are going to restore a 24 word wallet, a Shelly wallet created by Eternal or Daedalus. So if there's a 15 word wallet or 12 word wallet, you'll click one of these. And so when you upload your wallet, Actually, like nowadays, mostly it's 24 words. Okay, so I'm going to click 24 words. I'm going to click next. And so I'm going to go ahead and type that recovery phrase in and get right back to you. So once we've added our seed phrase in from our Lace wallet, we could now choose to name this wallet something different than the original Lace wallet. And whatever you named your Lace wallet, you, it will still be that name when you're operating within the Lace wallet. You could keep it the, exactly the same, or you can choose a brand new wallet name for this. And you're going to actually then choose an entirely different password for this same exact wallet. Now, you could do the exactly the same password you have for your Lace wallet. But you just need to make sure that you're writing these things down and that you understand the difference of the wallet name and the password for your eternal wallet that is your lace uploaded wallet i hope that makes sense so just to recap real fast you have created a lace wallet you set up a, a name for the wallet you've you've written down the seed phrase that lace gave you or jiro or nami right it could be any of these wallets and then you write that seed phrase down you create a name you create a password now what we did in Eternal, okay, is we then took just the seed phrase. That is the that is the your private key, the, your private key that can be used to access these wallets on different computers, or if your computer fails, or if your computer goes through, uh, you spill water on your computer, or something like that, and you get a new computer, you're gonna do go through this process and upload your seed phrase. At that time, it's gonna ask you to name the wallet something different, or you can keep the same wallet name. If that's easier for you, you can actually you know, write, make the same exact password. 
I'll name it lace channel or channel lace. How about that? Right? Lace. The other one is just channel. This one's channel lace to make, to remind me that this is my lace wallet. And then I'm going to enter a password and get back to you. Okay. Once you type in your new name and your new password on your restored wallet, you're going to come to this screen. It's just going to say the wallet in eternal can have up to 24 accounts. Each account will be delegated to a different staking pool. Uh, the account keys are generated from the wallet root key. Um, each account, added increases the syncing time of your wallet. So we recommend only creating as many accounts per wallet as you need. Basically, we're just going to keep one. Okay. We're going to hit save. And so right there in front of your very eyes, immediately what you saw, I hope that you can see that you, that you noticed that it immediately populated to the left here. And that's exactly the amount of ADA that I have in my lace wallet. Okay. And if I go to my token list, you're going to also see that it has the, the gens tokens, genius yield tokens right there, 689. Okay. So I know it's a little bit of a stretch to imagine what we just did there, but trust me, it, I've spent a lot of time understanding this and have, have, have successfully done this right now in front of you, but have, have in the past, uh, for, for a while with multiple wallets. Okay, so we're just gonna go back to Lace. Okay, we're gonna see 32.32 Cardano, 689.89. The channel is name is, um, just channel is the name. If I hit receiving address, you're gonna see that this is the channel account public address. It's gonna end in VD3UR, right? So we're gonna go to Eternal, right? We're looking at our channel Lace wallet now. Okay, I have a different password that I wrote down. It's different than the lace one, but it's the same wallet. Okay. You see that I have that 689 gens just to reiterate and that I have 32 ADA. Okay. This is what is cool about the eternal wallet. You got the ability to understand how you can upload these wallets through eternal, which is like powerful. And then that can connect you to apps and it just makes everything that you're doing in the DeFi world that much easier. Also, if you want to understand how to leverage drip drops or understand the deep dives of, of the Cardano DeFi ecosystem, check out these videos that we'll have posted uh, in the corners here. Okay.